Want to help the channel? Go to shopclownfish.com where you can check out official Clownfish TV merchandise and our brand new shop. It helps us out. Also, check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash clownfish TV for more art and gaming live streams that we don't do on YouTube. We want to see you over there as well. Now let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to talk about IDW and I think the ship is on fire and uh, Chris Rial is jumping ship ag again, again uh, for the second time in two years. Yeah, he's leaving IDW to go start another comic book publisher. Shouldn't surprise anyone. IDW is hemorrhaging money and I don't know if they're going to make it through the pandemic. They were in very bad financial shape before the pandemic began. And with the comic book industry uh, in the gutter right now, uh, it's very conceivable that IDW is not gonna survive uh, you know, another year. I mean, it, it's totally possible. Uh, but Rael is, is leaving and he's starting his own publisher and uh, good, good luck with that because this market's uh, not great unless you're doing indie comics direct to consumer, which maybe he's considering. Who knows? Uh, before we get into it, please consider giving us a sub and check us out on Facebook. Did a draw stream. It was kind of a disaster uh, last night on Facebook, but we did our first uh, draw stream with the kids and I drew I drew Ragin' Angry Geeky over there. So check it out, uh, Clownfish TV on Facebook. Coming from the Hollywood Reporter, IDW's Chris Rayall steps down as president and publisher. Uh, he had previously served as the company's editor in chief. IDW Publishing is undergoing a change in leadership. That's what they're they're going to call it. Uh, he's saving himself with Chris Rayall stepping down as president, publisher, and chief creative officer to launch a new publishing venture dedicated to developing new creative voices. I bet he's he's gonna he's gonna pitch Hollywood deals. If I had to guess, I think that's what he's probably going to do, because that seems to be the only money in comics. Uh, if you're an indie creator, you can get by, you can crowdfund your own comics, you can sell direct to consumer. Uh, but for the most part, it seems like everybody is just trying to get into Hollywood now, because comics themselves don't don't usually pay a whole lot. Rael had been in the position since December of 2018, when he returned to the company six months after stepping down as the uh, chief creative officer and editor-in-chief. He took over the dual president publisher role from Greg Goldstein. Uh, so, uh, you know, Rael has been with the company pretty much since the beginning. He's been there a very long time, and, and um, you know, he worked, uh, I guess, briefly at Skybound. You know, he was instrumental in Lock and Key. Um, now, here's the thing. He's leaving because because it's a dumpster fire. IDW is not in a good place right now. I think he knows it. I have to wonder if he didn't just take the position again temporarily until he could set his own thing up. Um, that would be the smart thing to do. Comics Beat has his tweet. He said, well, this news is a bit sooner than we all intended. So if I didn't get the chance to notify some of you directly, as I had hoped, apologies but hey, there's always a big announcement on Tuesday leading into San Diego Comic-Con. Yeah, the Comic-Con at home, I guess, is starting this week. Uh, the first couple days, I don't know, it looks like, uh, it looks like it's all like educational and activist stuff. Uh, they don't really get into the meat of what I would consider Comic-Con until like Friday, Saturday. But yeah, uh, you know, there's no way to really, I don't think to put a positive spin on this for IDW. Um, they're, they're not doing very well i mean look at this idw had massive 2019 losses they expected to see profitability in 2021 well that's not going to happen uh their comics they i know they put a bunch of titles on pause i don't know if they they resume them or not but i know uh turtles and gi joe and a couple other uh titles were on pause now rob liefeld did snake eyes which actually looks pretty good i might have to to pick that up but they were banking on netflix they were hoping uh, Netflix and Hollywood would bail them out. That's their business model. That's so many of these small publishers. That is their business model. It's not actually about selling comic books. It's about selling pitches to Netflix and Hulu. And now what do we got now? Peacock and HBO Max. And they're just basically just, you know, churning out pitches. But the thing is, is that most live action 
production is is either hampered or paused at this point um you know hollywood is in in turmoil too so it's just kind of a double whammy right comics aren't selling that well this year obviously because a lot of shops are closed down hollywood's probably not in a position to pick up a whole bunch of new shows because you know hollywood's shut down too you know it's been recommended that idw sell for like two or three years now they're not doing well the company is basically on fire not in the good way so it doesn't surprise me that chris is leaving and i think we're gonna see a lot of uh creative shuffles in the next couple months i think we're gonna see a lot of these smaller publishers go out of business i know um i think uh zach was saying that he thinks that uh, ppp loans are propping up a lot of these uh smaller publishers or mid-tier publishers that could be the case because we know the shops are closed we know nobody's really selling comics right now um that could absolutely be the case and when the money runs out the the government money runs out then you know it's time's up and and these publishers go under i don't know how a lot of them are even staying in business to be honest but Rael has seen the writing on the wall and he's starting world of syzygy syzygy is that what it is is that like synergy i i, I had to look it up and it has something to do with like celestial alignment but there's really not much there and I, i've seen this a lot with people who especially that work with hollywood as a lot of the you know west coast comic book people do that they'll start a site they'll put a site up and it's like here just sign up for the newsletter and you really don't get any any information whatsoever as to what the publisher is about just that they're they're gonna start publishing something soon eventually maybe possibly so who knows again i think the more interesting story is that idw is hemorrhaging cash uh they're clearly not going to make it long term and you know for uh, rial to jump ship like this um tells me that he sees the writing on the wall he knows that idw is not going to last um so i don't know i think we're going to see next year we're probably going to see like half as many comics publishers and you know look even marvel and dc aren't safe at this point because disney's hurting warner is hurting not as much as disney but they're still hurting and either one of those companies could just pull the plug completely on publishing marvel comics or dc comics at least in a monthly format uh, i think it's coming pretty soon because they got to save money you know comics beat does mention that idw has been losing money in several divisions um and they cite uh, icv2 there were, se were several other behind the scenes changes at idw in recent days including the departure of interim ceo mark Noller who headed up IDW's parent company, IDW Media Holdings, and he's being replaced with CFO Ezra Rosensaft, Rosensaft and controller Brooke Feinstein, who will take over as chief accounting officer. IDW chairman uh, Jonas, the biggest financial stakeholder in the company, also shored up the uh, overall business by selling off CTM Media Group, a travel brochure printing company, to himself i did know that they did this they did a lot of tourism stuff well that's dead in the water too isn't it uh the tourism industry is is toast the travel industry is toast comics are toast uh hollywood is at a standstill so what are you gonna do so yeah it sounds like there's a big big shuffle at the top of idw and i think they're living on borrowed time i really do i think we're i, I think we're talking we're probably in the final year of idw um you know it depends on when when the comic book industry comes back online completely if it comes back online uh, as it was before covid which i don't see happening but it's definitely uh it's i think it's it's almost over for idw anyway i'm gonna wrap this one up please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants and we'll be back with more videos later today keep checking just in case you don't get the notifications i am working on a solution i'm actually building a new clownfish tv website that will give you the option of subscribing to notifications via the website which will update you of new content or to do that via email so when we post new content you'll get notifications outside of youtube we'll see you later hey guys thanks for watching clownfish tv please consider supporting the channel go to clownfishsupport.com that's clownfishsupport.com and if you want to join our community go to clownfishtalk.com that's clownfishtalk.com Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.